Okay, uh, another plant in operation documentation. So we're trying to document all these very cool, unique uh, cannabis plants uh, just before we start chopping them down. Um, so uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So uh, we're just trying to capture them while they're still alive in their beautiful form. So I'm going to show you this is uh, a CBG V attempt <laughs> so we'll see if this works out but what it is is it's a cbg plant that i cross with my uh thcv free the v uh plant a few years ago and i never got a chance to grow the seeds out so the theory being is that possibly that would translate out into uh the cannabinoid cbg v uh, and I don't know, I, I need to go lab test these to see if that actually happened. Uh, some people said, theoretically, no, that's impossible, that won't work. Some people said, maybe. I basically, I don't, the science is so new with cannabis and cannabinoid. Uh, the plants themselves uh, and all the research. So, yeah, might as well just try it, see what happens. So we've got about five of these plants and we're gonna run lab testing on them, but I just wanted to show you this plant and we'll see, we're calling it CBGV, but no idea if that actually exists in this plant, but let's take a look. All right, and this though has, uh, okay, again, this was a CBG plant crossed with the free the v thcv and we'll come in and look at these buds now these are extremely delicate like papery papery buds uh and we just got a rain some of the other um seeds or plants it from the seed batch were pretty susceptible to mold so uh, some of you grower folks may know when you have those really soft, papery, delicate, it's almost, the buds almost feel like tissue paper or something. They're so papery soft. Uh, when you have that going on um, and they get wet, they just kind of act like a sponge and <laughs> just absorb all that moisture. And then a lot of times very quickly will mold out. So I don't want to see that happen on this gorgeous specimen. So it could always go longer, but at the same time, you know, look at that crystal. We got some brown hairs, tons of crystal. So um, instead of coming out here tomorrow or the next day and finding a complete total mold bomb, I think just going to take this down so it comes down. I haven't seen a speck of mold on this, so I think this one... This is kind of the champion plant of the whole batch. Um, but I think we're going to take this down super clean, not a speck of mold, and then we'll test it. And yeah, if we actually have CBGV or whatever weird cannabinoid, you just never know when you mash up, you know, some of these minor cannabinoid dominant plants, what's going to pop out in the babies. Uh, so who knows, maybe we'll make a tincture of some very interesting cannabinoids here. Um, and maybe it'll benefit someone. Who knows? Anyway, this is part of the fun. So, uh, yeah, it's a big plant, though. Uh, the tippy top's probably about eight feet tall. and uh, But I'm going to get chopping. Uh, so, there we go. We'll see what happens. We'll keep you posted on it. Uh, probably in a few weeks, we'll get around to actually lab testing it. If I can find a lab that actually tests for CBGVA, because it has to be the acidic, non-heated, non-decarbed form. So I don't even know if my lab <laughs> tests for that. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Peace.